According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. It looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. You came home. I knew you would. You've come a long way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact, you and I. Do this. We both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. Climactic. We were going to tear it all down. The Institute. Providence. Everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first Constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. No way. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady, but neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. 
People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Is he gonna take it? Oh, she didn't tell him where he was. Subject 47. Most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away. He and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. <laughs> you won't like the alternative. Damn, he's holding on good. That's crazy. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right, so here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real shadow client. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus' house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray nice was a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail. A Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive. And we cannot risk that he contradicts our story. Look at Stan Lee. Employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. All right. Mission active. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan right. Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. It's good to be home. Back in suburbia.
All right, we got to look for some kind of clues. Eliminate Nolan Cassidy and eliminate Janice. Let's see, there's a bug swap. Swap. Seems like there's some kind of party over here. I got both of their house keys. I don't think they'll find them here, right? Become the exterminator. All right. Let's see if there's some kind of stuff over here. Maybe some kind of poison or something. Let's keep a uh, let's keep a coin in handy in case there's some people. All right, where would where would some poison be? There's an axe. What's this? What's in here? Lawsuit documents? Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. The lawsuit also mentions Nolan Cassidy and his unlawful surveillance around town. Hmm. So Janus takes a helicopter trip once per year. I think we're onto something here, 47. I think we're on something too. I think it would be beneficial to locate the unlawful surveillance mentioned in the lawsuit. Perhaps Nolan Cassidy's house would be a good place to start. Hello, How's it sir. Going, buddy? Have a lovely day. I, I will. All right. Is there anything that we can take over here? I want to follow that one. All right. So far, no dice. Is there a way in this house? Okay, the note. I'm in the garden, ring the doorbell if you need me. I'll be right out. Okay. I don't think we can do anything as the exterminator. Oh, wait. There's some stuff highlighted over here. You know the exterminator guy who's working on Daddy's house? The same guy who's the casting, right? Yeah. So, I let him use the green shipping container to store some chemicals. I asked him if it was poisonous. Apparently, there is a fumigator in town. He's working on a house belonging to a James Batty, and has previously been working on Cassidy's house. The fumigator has stored some of his chemicals, a strong sedative, in a container in a vacant lot near the creek. Sounds like this... Assured me that it was only this, this sounds like something... Get this. He told me that you know, I could lot. use. What is this? Trans... Nope. What do you have here? We have a ranch. That we're gonna have to lock pick it. All right, we have insecticide, infiltrates Cassidy's home. All right. Go all the way around. All right, I like it. That is Nolan Cassidy, former Secret Service agent and current Providence Herald, 
Cassidy is assigned to protect Janus. I gotta wait till it goes in there, though. Oh, he's there. Got Nicely him. done, 47. This should keep things nice and quiet inside the house. Recording of some sort. Oh. The note mentions another house. Perhaps Cassidy is using one of the vacant buildings as base of operations 47. Oh, this is good. Oh, shit. But what else can I find in here? What else do I have in here? Alright. What do they have all up in here? A gun? What else? Is it kind of recording device? Gotta make sure nobody comes up here. Collector's bat. Oh shit. Cassidy looks to be a gun enthusiast. The room looks like it's outfitted with a lot of security and alarms. Yeah, they can't come in here <laughs> without dying. This is good. This is cool guns right here. What else can we find, though? Before we go anywhere else. A little Uzi. We're just going to keep looking around for a little bit longer. See, they got sick too. <laughs> Yo, everybody's just like knocking out. <laughs> Look at all these people down there. All right. Oh shit. Oh. Oh shit. Nolan Cassidy is down. Good work, 47. All right. James awaits your attention. Shit. Oh. All right, I think that's done for. All righty. <laughs> All right, we got out of, oh shit. All right. <laughs> All right, we got one of them.
What's up, a homie being suspicious? Oh, they're all on high alert. Note from real estate company, I cleaned this place as requested. I was told the real estate agent would pick up the key, so I put it in the flower pot next to the door. Oh, you shouldn't have, buddy. I got this whole... Do I? Alright, I got this whole place to myself. Alright, good. I need to, I need to figure out... Who the fuck was that guy? <laughs> Must have been like a gardener or something. Yo, I literally knocked out all them people over there. You know what I like about you guys? You're just so chill. I'm like, man, I have never met a man so full of bile. I mean, I'm just trying to help him, and he's behaving like a complete... Hey, hey, who are you, buddy? Uh, Alright, let's hurry up. What's in here, buddy? Oh, alright. Alright, buddy, I need your threads. Uh, this won't last long. What's in here? What can I use in here? Alright. So we're dropping all this because I think this guy... Is a uh, is a doctor of some sorts to this old guy right here. He's been sitting there most of the day. I don't know what he's reading, but it looks like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come across. The new Cassandra Snow novel, maybe slivers of past shimmers or something like that. See, my wife's reading it now. I can't get her to do anything around the house. No, no, it's not a novel. I think it's a, a journal. Or a, or a diary. He's one of the security people working over at that old Russian guy's house. That's got to be something from the old man's archives. Oh. If that's one of Janus's well, diaries, it, it might contain some important information about his past. Our past. Okay, Maybe so let's something that can help us locate the constant. All right. Well, let's see what we have. We have a wrench. Uh, there's not many body around. That chick over there, she seems like she could see something. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I just need that little journal you got. Hmm, one of Janus's many diaries. He's apparently been the chairman of the Ark Society for years. He stepped down very recently, but is still attached to the Society. Well, 47, this is valuable information. I'm glad to think so. Uh... Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to get a silent assassin, buddy. You need to move out of here. Everybody's on their phone these days. Let's go. What the hell's got 
<laughs> they didn't catch me. All right, let's see. No weapons. Let's go uh, mission guided story. All right. All right, mission guided story. We can play. An apple a day. Okay. All right, we gotta just find homie's house. I'm guessing it's this one. Hi, sir. Listen, sir, there's no drama. I just need to check your pockets if you want to pass. That's fine, buddy. Just relax. You'll be on your way in a sec. I've never had a man touch me like this before. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. New guy, huh? The regular guy is indisposed. I'm here to take care of Mr. Janus. All right. Ring the doorbell. Come on, with you in a moment. Come on, old man. The Reaper, Tobias Reaper, has come. It's your time, buddy. Come on, buddy. Just old ass man. <laughs> We're trying to do this, you know, in a hurry, sir. I'm going to ring that one more time. Hello? Pizza? Look at that. My stethoscope is out here like a chain. There's a chain hang low. Does it wobble to the flow? Does it shine in the lights? What's up, buddy? Who are you? Oh, those shoes. Where's Lafayette? Over fashion, He's I guess. not well. Well, hopefully it's something serious. I wouldn't mind if Lafayette was replaced permanently. He's <laughs> an insufferable bore with a room temperature IQ. Damn. But if you're the new guy, you'll need to be on time. I have a busy schedule, you know. Schedule? You have a very distinct face, my friend. Eastern European, am I right? But more than that, a refined mix of cultures. Artist's rendering of the perfect man. I knew a man once. A doctor. He would have found you quite interesting, I think. Oh, buddy, you gotta put that away. <laughs> what are you doing? Walking with a wrench. Loosen valve to oxygen. <sighs> so... Back to this thing. I'll just spend a few minutes with the inhaler to fill my system with as much oxygen as possible. Replace empty pack. Before we proceed to the bathroom for the health check itself. Well, while Mr. Janus fills his lungs, I'd like a quick word with you. Please, come with me. Yes, sir. I know this looks like a relaxed operation, but I run a tight ship. Nobody gets alone time with Janice unless I know them, and I don't know you. So here's what I'll do. I'm going downstairs to run a security check on you. It should only be a few minutes. In the meantime, you wait in the study. We'll lock the doors and my men will make sure you don't accidentally wander off. I'm sure you understand. Please, wait in there. All right, buddy. 47, you have to find a way out of there. I can't possibly construct a viable ID for you in time. I'll have Miss Hall remotely interfere with their search, but we can't keep it up for long. Well, that was certainly an interesting turn of events. Still, no rest for the wicked, 47. You could probably slip back inside and give Janus his health check. Ah, good thing I saw the key. Is busy. Just be mindful of the patrolling guards. Oh, no, they're watching. There's people out there. What's that, poison? Alrighty. What's this, Volt? Alright. What's this? Alright. So we got a room. What's up? 
What's all this stuff over here? One of Janus's old microfilms. It might contain important information. All you need now is to find a device to read it on. Damn it. I'm back. Clear? I think we're clear. Fine, I suppose. I'm back. I suggest we go to the bathroom Good afternoon, now. sir. All right. Let's go then. Alright buddy, you're gonna wait here. I'm gonna poison your stuff. Right here. Right here. Put that thing down! <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, buddy. But, um... Let's see if we can bring him over here. Oh, we can. Well, buddy. Plus the actions of the first constant catch up. That feels the like an easy way out for a man like James. Still. We are close now, gentlemen. Both targets are dead. Oh, he was about to get out of here. Um... Over here. All right, jump. Listen, I swear I have a license for it. I just don't. Disguise was blown. Haha, <laughs> buddy, I'm long gone. Don't worry about me. All right, so we got to review the microfilm that we found in the house. It's pointing to a house right here. down here area was compromised everywhere they're not gonna find me hmm. sinister looking basement what could she be doing down here
Oh, what did I find? Lethal pills? In the baking goods? More pills? Was that a furnace? What is she doing down here? Hmm. That's crazy. Alright. Start picking locks. Yeah, we're fine. Stand down. Someone get the coffee brewing. Standing down. I got a new robe and stuff. All right. Where's our wrench? Her handy dandy wrench. Well, I don't know what the hell we're supposed to do with him. But you know what's about to happen to him. We can find it. It's okay, buddy. The mom's downstairs. And done. And he's down for the count, ladies and gentlemen. There you go, buddy. Uh-oh. Oh, all right. You got one of these too, huh? What's up here for you guys? More poison? Are they scissors? All right. So I think she's just down here somewhere. Where's she at? Poor lady, don't know what's up. Oh, she's downstairs. Cooking her little meth. she have yeah she's killing she was trying to kill these people all right so we're going to re review the microfilm for some reason there's a clue up here but i knocked homie out i might have had to hear his story so we're just going to go review the film the fuck where's the client god damn we're in trouble where is he at buddy alright so something about here review there's other clues but there's a clue right there somewhere in this little house right here
Hi, buddy. I thought I heard something over there too, buddy. Hello. Hey, did you drop off a surveillance tape from Jane into the house? Cassidy was asking us earlier. Yeah, I didn't do the form. What a stupid. The cool to survive in Sydney, I think. Dude, I'm so sneaky. <laughs> Cassidy is certainly keeping a close watch on Janus. I'm willing to bet those surveillance tapes hold interesting information. All right. Let's see what you're, what you got in this microfilm. that Janus and the Constant will meet up soon. I don't think we'll be able to identify the partners today, but this is very useful. The tape doesn't specify where that meeting will take place, however. We need that final bit, 47. So, we know that Janus is expecting to leave Whittleton Creek via helicopter and that he's going to meet the Constant at some event. I think it's time to look inside Janus's house for more clues. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. All mission well, objectives are man. completed. What's up, buddy? 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the constant, we'll make our final move. You make right. it seem so easy. Yeah, All right, well, we're going to take the bus with this mailman right here. And we stole a suit. That was a pretty fun, easy mission. But I wanted to kill the old man a little fancier, but you know, you, you do what you do. All right. Let's go. All right, we got four stars. I think we might have messed up on just the timing alone. Maybe we got caught a couple times, but that's okay. Let's see what level we're going to hit. Thirty-six, and then master level six out of fifteen. Let's see what we got before we end the video. We got the level six. Okay, we got the bench pickup, creek shed. Okay, our cross driveway, hidden stash. Okay, we got the park. We got the house. Uh, attack auto MK two. All right, not silent, fully automatic. Proximity concussion device. 
construction area. And these are just pretty much the different ways that we could do stuff. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Do you guys want to see different ways? Do you want to see me do it fast? Let me know in the comment section. This is the end of the video. I'm out. Killing spree. <laughs>